What's going on, guys? And welcome back to a brand new Satisfactory reaction video. As you know, I'm a big nerd of Satisfactory. Played it since release. Done a lot of content here on YouTube and Switch. And it is time for the finale of Let's Game It Out's series. I say the finale, but it's the most recent one. Uh, and it's I use the drones to make a Nightmare Factory even worse. So this adventure has been... How do I put it? Nuts. <laughs> you probably knew I was going to say that because I've said it in every goddamn single video. And, oh boy, it is time for the pinnacle episode because you guys keep telling me this is the one to watch. So without further ado, check out Let's Game It Out in the description and also check him out in the pinned comment. Show him some love because uh, he's awesome and you guys know he's an awesome content creator. So let's jump into this. Hey there, it's Josh. Welcome Hi, back Josh. to Let's Game How you doing? Oh boy, let's play some Satisfactory today. We love this <laughs> game around here, where there are endless ways to shatter your bones. We oh, love it I'm in different ways, myself. Josh. Let's catch you up on what's but we happened allow so it. far. First, we built a wonderful, <laughs> normal working factory for like a second. Then it turned into this, then into this, and then this, and also some of this. Eventually, we reach nuclear power. It produces a lot of energy, but more than that, mm -hmm. it produces beautiful, toxic byproducts. So much so that it hurt to exist here. The thing is as well, he's doing all this with nuclear waste, but what's he going to do with plutonium waste? He's not done a video yet. This is the last one in the series. He's not touched particle accelerators yet, plutonium, all that stuff. And we had to flee. So after that, we slid our way over to Oranger Pastures, and this time we did it right. We erased all of this nature. We put down a beautiful working factory. And Place 400 bloody storages just to send iron and copper and limestone ore through. And then to to top it off, just to send screws through to send it back to the point of origin. We can't forget about hypertubes, which is good for normal transportation or mm -hmm. linking them together and going so fast, you leave this dimension. Or if you split the difference, you can create a machine <laughs> where we can aim this cannon back at our old base and see if we can reclaim that irradiated nightmare. And that's yep. what brings us to here. So we have a couple of pressing concerns, each and every one of those barrels that's actively hurting me while I talk. That's okay, though. I've got my handy dandy inhaler here. So whenever my health is getting me down. Yep. That whole place is not powered as well. That that this whole place, no power going to it whatsoever. Because as we know, update three brought the water. It has no water going into the nuclear plants. All that excess. Because a lot of people are. Um, I'm guessing a lot of you are confused that obviously this is not powered. You're thinking it's powered because of the nuclear waste is still moving. It's because it's backlogged that much. Is actually it's just going around into loops, going up and down, and spending three hours going around the whole thing. Like look at what was it the weave. The weave, it took, what, three hours, I think he said, for, for it to go around one item. So um, I'm, I'm worried about how he's going to do this and fix his power here. Uh, anyway, let me give you the grand tour before we get started. Here mm -hmm. we have sumptuous radiation issues, yep. followed by even more radiation issues. And we're going to have to figure this out fast, because I don't know what happened, but this place is... Uh, that's when the weird glitchy item bug was a thing. Uh, this was before conveyor rendering uh, was implemented. Uh, and everything kind of used to kind of like pulse on the belt, and it was so bizarre, like you could just be walking and an iron ingot will just become like tenfold, and it will look bloody stupid. It's definitely cursed now, and even more radiate. Oh, it looks like things have hey. kind of come to a standstill. No, it looks like there's syrup on top of the pie, <sighs> on top of the waffle. I guess it makes sense, though. After all, over here in this side of our base, the land... Yeah, you can, you can, if I could just go back a frame here. <sighs> I guess it makes you can see right here um, the hole for the water extractors. Um, so these aren't running. Like, even nuclear waste isn't coming out. The, uh, the, the fuel rods are there. Makes sense, though. Providing After nuclear all, here uh, this radiation. Side of our base, the land of nuclear power plants. There's been a couple of changes since we were last here. See, mm -hmm. the last time we were in this base was before they added fluid to the game. And now that all of these beauties have been magically retrofitted, it requires not just these, which are uranium fuel rods, yep. but it also requires that we have water to cool the whole thing down, mm -hmm. which obviously we don't have, based on this giant gaping hole, <laughs> which means that we've got all of these plants and none of them are working yep. right now. It looks like they're working because the smoke kind of st still comes out. It just shows like the semi-working. 
until they get fully power up and the smoke goes darker and all that stuff, you know. Which honestly is probably both good and bad. Good because no working means no nuclear wasting. Mm -hmm. Bad is these being offline means we don't have any power coming to our base. Mm -hmm. Don't worry though, we're gonna get this all back online. And the first step is gonna be getting all this radiation out of here. First things first, we're gonna need some items. Good thing we've got materials everywhere. Got plenty Not to of mention them. stockpiles of the best stuff. A whole container full of things that blow up. And me with a detonator. And you know what that means. I can't just blow this stuff up by hand, can I? Nope. Well, it was worth a shot. Good to know where these things are anyway. So step one is we gotta flush out all of these barrels, or else I don't think reality- Wait, he actually is on update four now. As of- as of this video, he's on update four because drones are update four. Is it ever coming back together again? God, that so we're gonna go glitch. all the way over here to the outskirts of this madness. I see you flying up there, don't judge me. And basically we need to figure out how to get all these barrels out from our base. Let's just use this convenient thing called a splitter, and then we'll build out a conveyor belt from there, and we'll just keep running this, and we'll just take it all the way to the edge here. I'm not really sure what the plan is, seeing as how there's no- Is he just gonna take it under the map? It's doable. You could send it down there. Nothing down here. But hey, at least it's getting all this waste away from the rest of my factories. And at the end of all this, we'll go ahead and put a nice big storage container. That won't last long. Go, fellas. Welcome to your temporary new home. So while we wait for all of this stuff to finish filtering out of here, let's get some other vital stuff done. As mentioned for the time being, none of these are working. You know, mm -hmm. I know where there is working power, though. And it's just the one quick slide <laughs> away. Ah, home sweet second home. I missed you, security blanket of pipes and conveyor belts That's and materials. Just Anyway, we're not here for sightseeing. No, we're here for that power. That dirty, environmentally unfriendly coal power. Let's just go ahead and connect one of these power lines. And let's go ahead and build all the way back. Starting from there, this is us. All the way back to our other base. <sighs> so he's going to power some of the items. I don't know how, much, how many megawatts he's producing up there. He's going to bring that all down here. I guess... That's what, if he's going to get the water in here and build water, the only place he can build it is right here. Especially for the amount of nuclear plants he's put down. Like, yeah. And for those that don't know, update seven is going to be changing the water for nuclear. So he's going to be, if he's going to be feeding all these nuclear plants with water, um, when you overclock them, they're actually going to be going to, uh, I think it's like 780 water you need if you overclock a nuclear plant. They're actually dialing it back, so you only need 600 at 250%. Super easy to just run these forever. Don't worry, this isn't gonna take any time at all. And we always know when we're getting closer to home because the frame rate takes a dive and everything <laughs> hurts. Although, yep. now that I'm in the main part of the factory, I think all the radiation's been filtered out. And I'm not taking damage anymore. I'm so happy it's time to use my inhaler again. Anyway, where were we? Oh, hello. What the hell are you? Pet the lizard doggo. Don't mind if I do. Okay, well, great talk. Looks like. I got a little worried. I got a little worried. Not gonna lie to you. Like the barrels are still coming, which shows that the process is still working. Still doing the weird pulsey thing. Barrel heaven. And we know that for sure because look at our glorious radiation levels. Quite the radioactive vessel. And as we get closer, I'm really hurting. Now, in theory, this should be enough. Because the farther away we get, the lower the radiation goes. And if we're far enough away, the radiation goes away entirely. But I don't want to lose this entire area to- I'm surprised he's not made a hazmat suit. Did it, I can't remember. Did he make a hazmat suit in one of the previous ones? I can't remember if he did or not. That isn't there a way we? But then it's it's not Josh if he wears a hazmat hazmat suit, right? It's not Josh. Living life. One day at a time. <laughs> you can get rid of this stuff permanently. Most other items in the game you can just throw in the little trash can here. Oh, but mm -hmm. not these barrels. Nope. He doesn't want you to do that. All right, let's leave this for a second and come over here. And let's test some stuff on an area that doesn't have rate. I like how it only comes that message with uh, fix it does not waste, because that's kind of fix its motto, right? But you can waste every other item but when it comes to nuclear waste. Fix it does not waste it. No. Radiation. Okay, so getting rid of stuff. We can't just grab an item, drag it out of our inventory, because mm -hmm. then it goes straight here on the ground. And yep. sure, we can throw these things, but no other items can we throw like that. So I wonder if there is any way we can... Oh, what the hell did that? <laughs> you? You knocked me off? Oh, I bet you guys think you're so clever, don't you, huh? <laughs> yep. Oh. Yeah, I, I do that every now and again. It's fun just to put them, they'll come and charge at you. You can even do that. Or even with the spitters, you know, just put a foundation off the cliff and then just delete it.
Uh-oh. Well, we learned something new just now. Those guys can throw themselves off. Mm -hmm. So the question is, can we somehow attach the radiation to these fellas? And then just lead them off a cliff. Okay, hold on. I got an idea. Let's build out a couple of little platforms. And then let's add some walls. Okay. Hey, come back here. I have need of you. Come on. Come on. Okay, better. Stay. I'm trying to think where this is going to go because... He can't do anything with these with nuclear waste. Right there. I'm just gonna put something on top of you. Easy. Well, technically it's on top He's of him. He's just gonna him, float but I don't think it's part of him. Nope, definitely not. So I think it's safe to assume that there's no way to actually attach this to these creatures. Well, thanks for trying. So for my next idea, we're gonna need one of these. A pale berry. So do you remember that lizard doggo that we saw? Oh fuck. As you can see, he's a little bit timid if we get too close. But if we take these here pale berries, go ahead and just put them on the ground. Little doggo friend, love. And then you tame them. And then they have an inventory slot. And every so often, they'll give you gifts. And they will give you nuclear waste. Hence the reason... These doggos and plushies come with nuclear waste. Things that actually attach to his tongue. Link in the description if you want one. <laughs> God damn it. And now he trusts us. Aww. And now we have the message to see if Lizard Doggo found anything. Basically, now he has an inventory, and occasionally he'll find stuff and bring it to us. Yeah. But we can also put things in that slot. And now it's just carrying it around while it follows us. So, of course, I think we have another question. Can this little guy carry a stack of barrels? Only one way to find out. Come on, little guy. Okay, where were we? Get ready for a journey. Oh, hey. He found me some flower petals. That's so sweet. I love you, too. I'll take those. And here, you have these 258 barrels of toxic I'm so sorry. I'm so fucking sorry. Ways. And Lizard Doggo seems unaffected by the tremendous amount of radiation. Well, you know what happens next, right? Now, let's see. How am I gonna get... I know what's coming. I know what's coming. I know what's coming. I know what's coming. He's gonna get a flipping army of them! Get you to want to be down there. What if we build some platforms? No, 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 no! Here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? You're a good boy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, mission successful. Oh, let's do it again. Hey there, little guy. What the f is he doing? The, the guy's, is the guy's lost it. The guy's lo the guy needs a straight jacket. The guy probably invented straight jackets. I I've got something for you. Good God, that took forever. But at least we got him. Make yourselves at home in the waiting room. You probably know them, don't you? It's probably your sister, your brother, your auntie, and your uncle. Probably your nan and your granddad as well. Now you know officially how they died. Here, I'll even give you a window to look through. All right, so here's the thing. I've been doing some thinking, and I don't know if I can bear to watch them fall down onto the cliffs below. I mean, after all, look at these little guys. Look at those little faces. They deserve better than that. That's why instead, we're going to use something else. Jump pads. Let's see. Let's just what? go ahead and... Excellent. All right, I guess we need to test if it works. Yep, that'll about do it. All right, come on, little guy. Let's get you all... He can't. He won't. He will. I should. I should never say he can't. I'll suit it up. Okay. 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 Yeah. This is gonna be a first for me because I don't even know if this is gonna work. You know what to do. It works. It works. It works. What? I I wouldn't know because I would never test this. Why would I want to test it? 
Well, I'm gonna go ahead and say that was a rousing success. And before you know it, our nuclear waste problems are solved. Okay, come on out, fellas. You look all ready for prime time. Let's not just wander them mouth. over here. <laughs> Instead, let's aim a bounce pad back this direction. Don't build a couple look. layers up. And we'll put the other bouncy thingy at the top here. Okay, there you go. Oh, you guys spread each other out. Well, at least that one made it. Oh God! And for this oh one, let's my see if we God. can get nothing what? but. He's made a goddamn hoop. He's made a hoop. He's made a hoop. He's made a bloody basketball hoop. Ned. Oh, close enough. Who knew that getting rid of radioactive waste would be so much fun? Okay, we only have a couple more to go here. Have fun, guys. Ah, that's a victory, looks like. One last straggler, huh? You might want to avert your eyes for this. Why? 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 To get rid of nuclear waste. <laughs> that's what some. That's what one of you knobheads will goddamn comment. To get rid of nuclear waste, bits, of course. How else? Up oh, looks like that to care of the radiation. Time to deal with the next mess. Getting all this back online. We do still have to deal with radiation, of course, because to power these plants, we use these uranium fuel rods. But it shouldn't be too hard to deal with. All we need to do is focus on the water part. And don't mm -hmm. worry, I haven't forgotten that. I'm, I'm going to put this guy away now. I'm going to put this guy away. I think he's seen too much for one day. Now this one needs water too. First things first is we need to locate a water source. And you know, I think I know just the place. Oh yeah, and this reactor over here too. Okay, so all we really need to do is find some nice deep water. You know, this water doesn't appear to be terribly deep. Maybe it'll work anyway. It'll Let's work. see. Time for some water extraction. Uh, yep, looks like it's gonna be just fine. Okay, now all we need to do is run some pipes. Hey, I'm sure this will be just fine, right? Pretty sure water doesn't naturally want to go uphill like that. But what do I care what water wants? I just care that it connects. Okay, oh boy. with that all connected, the entire base still doesn't have power, so we need to draw upon our power lines that are from the other base. I'm glad that you can drag these power lines out over to a cliff and then right into a waterfall. <laughs> Whatever, they'll allow it, so I'll do it. Okay, let's see, how are we doing? What He's not wrong. He's not bloody wrong. Water appears to be extracting at a perfectly whatever flow rate. And you can tell it's doing its job by this little thing here because of the things doing things. As you can tell, I totally understand how water works in this game. The important part is that if we come all the way over here and we check the pipes, we can see the water's running all the way here just fine. And if we look at the plant itself, water's all there, uranium's all there. Looks like power is back on the menu. And onward to the other power plants. Well, all right, excellent. I think we've done some really fine work here. Let's see if everything connects as planned. Let's start with one initially. Well, doesn't appear to be any water getting here, at least not yet. What do you mean this weird, gross, illogical pipe system isn't working? I mean, if you take- The spaghetti's real. Take a look at our splitter here. This one's getting plenty of water, as is this part right here. Yep. Oh, wait, the flow sucks. Head lift. He's not getting right head lift. So without- Needs to put pumps. Not really knowing what we're doing, we're going to use this pipeline pump. Allows fluids to be transported 20, 20 meters, meters upwards. upwards. Yeah. Okay, well, great. Work your mat. And for those that don't know, 20 meters on a pipe is you see these notches right here? That's classed as one meter. So 20 notches. One, two, three, so on. Magic. Okay, there we go. Looks like we have more flow coming through this thing. Sorta. Water sure is weird. Ah, yes, much better. Full capacity in the pipes. That's what I like to see. Okay, how are we working, you big behemoth? Ah, yes. Burning water too fast and occasionally offline. That's what we call progress. You know what? Why am I trying so hard? After all, this is a pretty large space. Let's see how many of these can fit. And then two and three and four. Just put a hundred to two, maybe three, four hundred down. I have in the past. I won't be surprised if he's going to put like a thousand down. I build big. Okay, that seems better. We have a couple more, quite a bit more. I have no idea how many are in here. All I know is it's more than I had, and I mm -hmm. hope it's enough to siphon up the entire ocean. Now it's time <laughs> to get to the piping. Ta-da! What the f Pipes, pipes, and...
and more pipes. I spent a little time building just a couple of pipe systems. Here, let me give you the grand tour. Basically, they start here, and then they extend out here, and then they route over here, and then God only knows where they go next. Pretty much if there's ground to cover, that's where we put pipes. And I do mean any... What the? It's like, I've used this many pipes. Put the nice and straight. <laughs> God damn it, Josh. Anywhere where there's ground to cover. Or if it's cliffs, also now pipes. Heading past this first power plant. That's right, pipes. And we just follow this very comprehensive pipe system. How you doing there, buddy? You having a good time? And we just keep on going to follow where the pipes go. Until eventually we make it over where we can see water making it to... Okay, he's got power back. He's got power back. All of our power plants. Who would have thought pipes were so easy? All you gotta do is just have so... Oh, God. In Josh's world, it's easy, right? In an efficient builder's world, it's hard because of backflow. Backflow is an issue. In Josh's world, you don't need it. Don't care about it. So many running everywhere that eventually everything can connect and have water. And yeah, sure, when these things are producing power, they also produce nuclear byproducts. But that's a solved problem. Everybody wins. And with all these glorious power plants up and working again, so too are our factories. Yeehaw to beautiful, endless manufacturing. Oh, and don't worry, I haven't forgotten about this guy. I know we need to get water up here too. And I know that seems pretty daunting. But don't you worry, I've got an idea. So hold- I'm gonna tell you now. This, this video has taken a lot more time than any of the other videos. Any of the other videos, without question. Hold, please. And connected. See, that wasn't so hard to get water up here. All I had to do was build a couple of water pipes. A lot of water pipes. A lot, a lot, a lot of water. Yep. This video took double, maybe triple the length it has for the other videos because now it's a it's literally like a wrapped up cocoon pipes yep this is what i did i started with a pipe on the ground ran it all the way to the start of my conveyor belt tornado and then just kept building and building and building and before you know it fresh water straight from the source and boy howdy is this doing amazing things to the f i was gonna say he have to put i've just seen all the pumps he i, I don't want to know how many pumps he's put on there frame rate. I'm just glad that it turned out putting all this pipe down was easy. That said, while I noticed the radiation nightmare is over, oh boy, have I noticed. You remember what I was saying about them popping in at super size speeds, at uh, super size um, images? Some cursed stuff still happening. You know, I think I know what we can do. Granted, I don't want to waste all this beautiful <laughs> manufacturing prowess or this gross thing, but I think I have an idea to salvage our factory and our frame rate. So let's head back over to Red Base, where we've got our hub. In the hub is where we unlock new milestones. And over here in Tier 7, we have something called Aeronautical Engineering. And in that, we have something called... Dr is going to use drones to do the nuclear waste. A lot of people do this to get rid of nuclear waste, but it's Josh, so I'm spectacle on where he's going to take this. Drones. Transports available input back and forth between its home and destination ports. I like the sound of- You just need to make a lot of batteries that so in order to unlock these things we need to amass all of these items and then we just feed it all into the machine a big old button appears which will send this cargo container right here into orbit but before we do that i have kind of an idea can you take an explosive to outer space for me only one way to find out and launch okay have a nice summer Oh, that does work. Well, nice to see it's completely unaffected. And now because of our generous contributions, we have fun new toys. So for starters, we can't just put a drone down right here in the sand. It needs to go in the drone port. Okay, I see how yep. this works. It's like a little carrier thing. Batteries to power the drones go in here. And these are like in and out points for importing and exporting materials. Easy peasy lemon whatever. Couldn't be more simple. He didn't even finish that bloody sentence. Lemon squeezy, Josh. Okay, yeah, and drones fit right here. Look at that, ready to transport. Okay, first things first, let's go ahead and connect this thing all the way through our pile of crap. I mean, surely somewhere in here are batteries, right? Wait, wait. Those look like batteries to me. Quickly, new conveyor belt, add a splitter, and now take some of those batteries. Now that these are well underway, we're gonna put two storage containers. You only need five per minute. That's a lot more than five per minute. 
one for the imports and one for the exports and for stuff but again it's josh transport i'm just gonna use copper not for any reason just because i have it and now we need to configure the drone port and we're gonna name this first port sandy offy and now let's move a little bit away from this station here and add another drone port over here and we'll set up another container this one's gonna be just for receiving and we're gonna name this second port give me goodies excellent and we're gonna set it up so that sandy offy has a destination port of gimme he's about to find out that uh drone stack so kind of like how a uh, airport, you know, if there's a plane taking off, you know, planes will kind of circle around the airport until they can land. Drones do that as well. Goodies. Oh, and the moment we set this up, look what's happening. Wait, don't leave without me. Let's see where this thing goes. Wow, we're really high gonna up throw here. Him off. We're flying as high as my rail gun even. I'm hoping, I'm hoping soon we get a hand, a hand boy or a railing to go on top of that so we can hold it so we can utilize flight transportation kind of. Well, looks like it's going to the destination. Does he not have a jetpack? Like it's coming in for a nice, smooth landing. Oh, and here comes our supplies. Perfect. That worked like a charm. And then when it's done, it whoa! It takes off in a perfect pattern to do some sweet air maneuvers before landing in its original pad again to pick up more supplies before doing it all again. Mm -hmm. Kind of curious what I can do with this thing. Like I see it doing all these evasive maneuvers, but like if I build foundations and just intentionally try and get, it's gonna go through it in its way. Is it going to know how to deal with this? We're about to find out. Huh. It doesn't care at all. <laughs> and then off it goes. Well, that's an interesting first test. If it doesn't care about collision, this gives me an idea. So here's my master plan. We're going to use those drones to take all these luscious supplies and transfer them to our other non-cursed base. Because after all, we don't want all these supplies or all this luscious power to go to waste now, do we? Of course not. So one of the things, though, is that these drone ports actually take up quite a lot of space. Mm -hmm. And something tells me it's smart to have at least a couple. But luckily, I think I know a place that's centrally located to all of our stuff that has virtually unlimited building space. And I think I know what we can use. I know where he's going. Us out. Behold, my original train station. Back when you could make train station names really, 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 really long. Can't do that anymore. Those were the days. Anyway, we're going to take a little trip. Just don't remove that train station, Josh. It will be fine. I think he probably knows that, but... Because if you recall, I made a nice little railway that doesn't give a crap about the rules of terrain at all. And now here we are, underneath the world, where there's so much open space for us to work with. Anyway, look at all that space out there. Let's see if we can use it. Uh, first things first, let's make a platform for building on. Yes, perfect for a drone port. Just gotta run some power for it. You know, I'm fairly certain the thing will fly off even if we don't give it any materials. So long as we just tell it where to go. We're gonna tell this to fly to gimme goodies. So I think in theory, the moment I place this drone down, it should just take off. You sound like promising noises. Yep. And promising behavior. And zoop. <laughs> Bye. The sound effect. Well, there it goes. Halfway across the known universe, all the way to its destination, where it abruptly stops and then appears to maintain a holding pattern, along with this other drone, and I have no idea why. It's not because I put the foundations there, right? It's not like you cared about that no. before. Well, let's check real fast. Nope, they definitely still don't care. Wait a minute. Looks like the power went out on this. Is that why? Let's fix the power and find out. Oh, looks like that was the reason. Now that we got the green, stuff's landing again. Okay, wait, now I have to know. If I leave it red, also known as no power, how many of you- He's about to make a tornado of goddamn drones. You can be up here. Let's find out, shall we? Okay, now we have four total. We're gonna make sure to set them all to gimme goodies. Oh boy, and here they go. <laughs> Stay in formation, pilots. The sound effects make it so much better. I say about breaking formation. You might be asking yourself why I didn't just build these things closer. Because then we couldn't have this amazing journey. And we wouldn't be able to see this glorious oh drone my God. ballet. Okay, here they come. Let's see what happens. I see. Well, I think we know what needs to happen next, don't we? Is there a limit to this? Nope. Only one way to find out. Okay, so I've been at this for a little while now. I've built a couple of drones.
What's worrying me is the fog of war right there is still kind of bringing some in when he moves. The foggy view distance here stops you from seeing all that I've made. But let me tell you, there's a lot of drones here. In total, there's 384 drones here, quietly spread out underneath our base. And for each and every one of these, they're all set to go to gimme goodies. All right, so let's turn on the power. Oh boy, here goes nothing. Oh my Jesus. He's like a bloody army of them. Hey, God. Up oh, and off they go. Off at two frames a second to seek fame and fortune on their pilgrim. It's like a bloody serpent. ...to the sacred gimme goodies. You know what I did back at the base too? Just to add some fun is I added a bunch of explosives to things. Not sure how that works, but I'm not gonna question it. You know, so we can get that real feeling like they're trying to be shot down. Evasive maneuvers, serpentine, serpentine. <laughs> and before you know it, here they are coming in to join oh the queue. God. Higher and higher and higher. Oh my God, what are we looking at? This is actually really pretty. Huh. It's terrifying. You know what? I guess there really isn't a limit. It looks like this really can just keep going forever. I mean, seriously. Seriously, look how high this goes. There's my cannon. There's the drones. And here's how much higher they go. And boy, is it going to be a long queue to land at this station. Ah, uh, one down. An eternity of drones left to go. You know, let's just use more traditional means to get our stuff from the other base. But let's tackle that next time. By the way, did I mention that I stream? I do. Link is in the description. You should check it out. So I hope You should check it out. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, man. The guy's in, the guy's nuts. The guy's insane. I've said this multiple times. And oh boy, was that mad. What he did to them doggos took it way 10 times further than what he did to the beans. Guys, that's the last satisfactory video by Josh. Until next time, keep smiling. Check out his links in the description and in the pinned comment. Go and show him some love. Guys, thank you so much for enjoying this series. Really do appreciate you all. Remember to like, if subscribe if you're not already subscribed, or we'll see when he releases a new one. I'll see you then. Keep smiling. See you in another video.